All right, so the boom, what go on, fam? How you doing? Hope your day's going well. So, rather than just regularly reviewing um, underwear, I figured, you know, I'd tap into the modeling side of myself and I could low-key be a model. Nope, I'm <laughs> just playing. <laughs> I always see girls doing these bikini hauls, try on hauls, but like we don't see enough men trying out things that people watch as well. So hopefully I start a new wave because fellas, we've been lacking. Girls always have these bikini hauls, try on hauls, like what's our thing? So this could be our thing. So I'm, hopefully I start a new trend, a new, a new wave. But yeah, so essentially many people have been wearing the same, many men essentially have been wearing the same style of underwear since they were in high school. Uh, you may have graduated from the cartoon underwear, like um, Iron Man and Spider-Man. But you still tend to wear the same style of underwear you did in high school. Whether that be maybe out of habit or you just don't care, but you can definitely increase the comfort level of your underwear substantially. So stay tuned and I'll show you the manliest and most comfortable underwear you could ever wear. So tap in. We did now we got to celebrate it. I was raised on the island. I wake up to play. Feel higher than a pile. She my couldn't say. I had to follow the dollar. Oh my get away. All right, so boom, so boom, so boom, so boom. Now underwear are the most worn pair of clothing in your wardrobe and because of it, they're the most worn pair this should be one of the most comfortable pairs of clothing as well but because no one sees it and only you really see it it's often overlooked now what I want to present to y'all today is uh, the sheath men's underwear I've been using these underwear for the past like three years and these are the best purchasing decisions I've ever made other than the uh, Thompson tees which I've made a video about like a sweat proof underwear uh, other than the, the Thompson Tees, the sheath underwear with a two pouch um, technology is the second, first, the first or the second best purchasing decision I've ever made in my life. So essentially, it has a two, I'm gonna try it on, but I'm gonna show you real quick. So essentially, it has a two pouch uh, um, software, right? Software, two pouch uh, technology. So what you'll see here, um, this is inside out, right? But yeah, so in the little pouch area there is that's where you can put your, your balls and your penis pretty much, right? So they have a, a, a version 4.0, which I, I should definitely get, where you can put the balls here and then there's, there's another area for uh, your penis pretty much. And this creates a great deal of ventilation, especially during the summer months when it's mad hot, the dog days of summer. For this, when I prayed during the winter months, I asked the Lord to make it warm. I did not say, Lord, please bring the devil from hell and have him sit his ass crack on earth. That's not what I asked for. When it's dry, just hot, especially if you're in a lot of like these hotter climates, you you definitely, you'll need it year round pretty much. Because of the fact that it's separate, uh, the, way, the way they put it, it's separate, there's not as much like skin to skin contact. So your balls and your penis, isn't touching your thighs as much and for me i can't i kind of have like big thighs so when you know the more the more skin to skin contact you have uh the more sweat and moisture builds up if you put your if you put your hands together in the summertime or outside you'll start to notice that sweat is coming up but the further apart those like body parts are from each other the less sweat will develop and another thing besides like the ventilation down there is the fact that I don't have to adjust it as much, right? You know, as fellas, when you adjust stuff, you try, try and kick your leg out, or you try to like, you know, just try and adjust it real quick. Cliff Carlton, Channel 2 Weather. It calls again, hello. But with these ones, I don't have to adjust it as much or at all, pretty much. So before I try these ones, I'll show y'all what I used to wear and how effective, quote unquote, it, it was for me. So let's try it on. 
Oh, and for the fellas that are watching this uh, sheep underwear review, modeling, me modeling, I cover you in the name of pause, okay? Like Riley said, if you don't say pause, then it's <laughs> that is gay, okay? It's not gay. I said I was gonna give the man everything I got. Pause, granddad. If it sound gay, it's gay. And you gotta say no homo. How I know you not a homo, granddad, if you don't say no homo? But to so my straight men out here that I watched the end of how you found this video, I cover y'all with, with the name of pause, okay? I got you. Pause. I said pause for you. I said, I got you, okay? I got you. <laughs> Alright, so enjoy the video. Because I just, I'm just reviewing the, I'm just reviewing the products, okay? So don't feel too weird. Okay, don't feel too too weird. And if you're a girl watching this, I don't know how you found this video, but uh, shout out to you as well. <laughs> Maybe you can get this for the man in your life. Maybe. Right, so this is what I used to wear, right? Like it's decent, like it's there, but you see that the uh, the balls area isn't like separate. It's not like there's no ventilation here, and when you sweat. I'm sure you can definitely see like the sweat stains coming down and all that stuff. So this is why I tend not to really like these types of underwear at all anymore, right? So um, the type of quality you, t you tend to get with uh, the Fruit of the Loom, um, Kirkland, and Tommy John. But like, it's just not the wave, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And the, the because the fact that it's kind of like... I don't know it's a little bit a little itchy and how do I describe it I can definitely tell the difference between uh, these ones and uh, the sheet underwear which I'll try in a minute but yeah so it's just essentially like it's kind of flappy it doesn't keep everything in place and that's it pretty much So these are the, the sheets under it pretty much. What you'll see is like, it's just a lot more comfortable. See like the, the what's it called? The, sep the separation pretty much of the, the pouch from the balls area. And I typically have like big thighs. I don't know, a lot of underwear is like, kind of doesn't really fit me. Towards my, cause of my, my waist to like hip ratio, it's kind of it's big. So a lot of underwear that I typically get doesn't quite fit me to the way that she's underwear fit me. So what I like about it is the ventilation, it's not itchy, and essentially I'm using these for the past like three years pretty much, right? So it's been pretty durable, and I haven't really had, I haven't had any issues at all, if at all with them. Here, there, see the sides. It's chill. I say uh, every man should own about 14 pairs of underwear, um, one day for each day of the week. An extra, an extra one for the days that you work out, and then let's say you're traveling, an extra one if you didn't have time to do laundry. So like about 14 pairs of underwear, I think is a good like number for most people to have. And not once have I ever had a hole in any of my underwear the past like three years of using them. They've just been. I can't praise sheath underwear enough, right? <laughs> And yeah, and in terms of like exercising and stuff like that, you can exercise with it without like things bouncing around. See if I, I did this right, it's like, it's chill, right? And for me anyways, for a guy, I have, I have kind of like big a big butt, big thighs, and it's, everything is in place pretty much, right? That's, what I, that's, that's like the best part of it, everything's in place. You don't really have an issue like with movements pretty much, right? So. That's it. So the major reason to get it, to get sheath underwear, is the fact that there's a lot of ventilation for your manhood down there. Because your penis, your balls are isolated from your thighs, there's less heat, which equals less sweating, which equals less chances of odor when, you know, you get into more intimate moments during the day or whatever it is, right? I mean, towards the end of the day. <laughs> You probably would shower before you had sex and like that, but like, you know what I mean. And of course, the style, the fit, just like, you never look, there's not, not too many pairs of underwear that kind of like, you know, uh, help 
it features down there you know what i'm saying but yeah that's the video but yeah make sure y'all check out the sheath underwear linked in the description of this video amazon links to that if they tried if they decide to sponsor me one of these days then you know holla at your boy business email is in the description of this video i did this out of my own like volition i thought it was a dope product i've been using it for the past three years and i figured i'd recommend something that i use on a daily every single day <laughs> right so but yo link to that if you want to cop one i think they also have a, fe a woman line a female female underwear line on, on the come up so definitely look out for that but yeah god bless much love peace and joy namaste and always remember always 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 if it doesn't feed you don't water it what you, whatever you're watching what you're listening what you're eating because our diet is more than just what we eat it's everything that we consume all right fam deuces see y'all in the next video when I'm back with my partners, we got a ole, a ole. Uh, can't wait for the day I toss my cap and move on to the next. Can't wait for the day I toss my wraps and move up on the net. Can't wait for the day.